Hello. I don't know how to make my screen big so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, am I live? On my wall? It's it's it and uh, yeah, should be live. Hello, hello. Maybe it goes a few seconds behind. Can you see it now? Uh, I think I'm posting it there. Uh, hello, anyone can see me, hear me? All right, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, hello, uh, I'm Armando. Uh, my intention is uh, to make a workshop, a regular workshop, a few days a week. I haven't decided how many. Uh, I don't know, for a year or two or three, whatever. Uh, the idea is to learn together. Uh, for me, it will be to refresh my formal training at the University of Seville, uh, Santa Isabel de Hungría. Um, there, there is a, like a very strong uh, life, I painting from life, uh, classical training, materials, anatomy, all these things. And uh, I don't know, I think, I think for people at uni, or people who want to paint, or people who want to paint with someone, it could be very nice. For me, it's nice as well to share it. Uh, hey, Bob. <laughs> uh, OK, so uh, sharing, I have got some notes. Uh, sharing my uh, years and degree. Ah, yeah, and these 26 years uh, working here in London, and in Madrid, and wherever. Uh, so I will be able to explain some techniques like oil painting under painting fresh painting that is the one i'm doing right now which is a, a la prima so it's like we're not glazing we're just painting directly onto canvas and um, in between layers we leave like a day or two or something to 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 let it dry and to be able to keep on painting uh, fresh uh, painting on paper paper painting on canvas how to stretch a canvas how to prime it uh, my intention is, yeah, it's a series of workshops that uh, you can see live or you can see later. It will be on YouTube, I hope, if I manage to, to fix the issues. But I think it just waits in 24 hours. Uh, egg tempera, which is a very, very good thing to, to use it as a... Eh, prima. <laughs> a la prima. <laughs> Pintar a la prima doesn't mean to paint your cousin. Uh, anyway, what else? Uh, yeah, uh, today, uh, uh, yeah, when you go to a class, normally, I, I don't know, when you go to a class, the normal thing, you don't know what you're going to paint. Uh, so I just have got the white canvas, uh, background, and I want to have the same experience than you. So I don't know. I thought maybe everyone has got the kitchen pots, metal pots. So it's like, let's study the simple gray scale. Uh, people can use uh, coffee. Or, or wherever, if they have got the uh, oil paint, you can do it with acrylic. The beginning, uh, I never do this, but uh, painting with coffee, because I know there's many people who hasn't been able to order uh, paints online or something yet. Uh, I can give some recommendations on that, how to buy them, where, what kind of brushes. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so painting kitchen pots. Uh, one minute, uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And these lessons, they're not going to be full of like content very, very fast or something. It's going to be a real time thinking, talking, not talking, stopping. Uh, the aim is, let's say, a college, university, kid, whoever, a nurse after going home, tired, want to relax and learn to paint. It's like a hobby for many people in these days that we're all, uh, yeah, in, in a new, in a new now in a new moment um i don't know i hope it helps uh, painting kitchen pots let's see i'm gonna get some things
something like that, maybe. Does it look good? As always, the palette I paint on glass is better a bigger palette than a small palette. This palette that you buy, that they are like this, they look good, but they really is, 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 is no way of working. Is is the bigger the surface and the cleaner, uh, the better. Uh, glass is easy to clean with one of these razors. I don't know what it is. I just clean it. Uh, anyway, with uh, with a scraper for windows or something that has got a little plate, and so you clean it when the paint is dry or wet. Uh, colors, black, white, scale, doesn't really matter as long as you get familiar with the order. I mean, try to use all with the same order. I mean, you don't have to be like neurotic about it, but it helps. It helps quite a lot. Uh, a good thing that I was taught at the university, and it makes sense, is like uh, always have all the colors you want to use in big quantities. And if you don't have a color because you're running out, uh, try to kind of put it back on the palette as soon as you can. So, hey, Peter, hello, welcome. Uh, try to kind of have the palette always with plenty of paint uh, so you are not conditioned to paint with the things that you have got left. You are using what you want, uh, so you need quantity. You know? Because sometimes I'm running out of okra and and I paint with uh, yellow and white and I put some kind of blue and red and I try to do it, but it's easier to kind of have a few colors. Basic colors to get, it would be like black, white, uh, one phthalo blue, one um, ultramarine blue, one uh, yellow, kind of cadmium hue. It's like if you want to buy cadmium, it's like a hundred. It depends on the size. I buy 200 mil. But just buy some normal cadmium yellow or cadmium hue. Uh, Indian yellow. Um, Cadmium red hue again, uh, and quinacridone red, or, or burgundy, or I don't know, it has got many, many names. Those are very basic. For many, many years, I didn't even use yellow. I only used ochre and, and white. Uh, and I was from doing the old kind of classic paintings. I, I was copying in museums and stuff. I used to paint, yeah, with four color. That's it, it's trying to kind of limit the palette a lot. Now I have got many because I paint in nightclubs and it's good to kind of don't have to mix. But we will go into the very, very small palette. Anyway, so coffee. I mean, it's quite ugly. If someone hasn't got anything to paint, they can paint the computer, the screen. That's also ugly. I just want to know if, how you see it. Uh, do you like it like that, Mickey? Yeah. Shall I put a glass? The string. Actually, I think the, the pan is too much. It's too close to the candles. What pan? What pan? pan. It's touching the air. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to change the candles anyway. I'm going to come like this. Still. Then. Okay, okay. Mm. No. Like that. No, but I don't know. It's fine. I think. Move the top just a little bit more. Where? Yeah, like this, yeah, just a little bit. Okay. The other way around. It's just making like this since we've been hot from the edge of the canvas. Now it's fine. Anyway, push to forward. I don't know. It's becoming quite ridiculous. I'm trying to play with this in order to play with space later on. And maybe a glass. Uh, 
A glass uh, half full, half empty, whatever you want, half full. Yeah, I don't know, to kind of look through the glass and see what we do. Okay, is uh, you are ready? Ah, okay, okay, okay. It's, it's a lot of technical thing, just things that if you are a student and you want to kind of do, get some this books for what? I haven't before, but I moved on. I don't know why. I don't know, they're all because I'm old. Uh, artists, uh, okay, materials and uh, art techniques. Ralph Mayer is a good good one to get. I'm sure art students, they have got it. Uh, this is a classic, the material, materials of the artist. Max Doerner, you can do a screenshot and keep it. Uh, uh, they're good materials book. Anatomy, anyone will do. I have those many marks for checking things. I don't know, you always have to keep on going to that. It's a really nice uh, Russian Leonardo book. And if you want perspective, I can deliver a little bit of that. This is to make oil paint. We'll be making all paint as well, whoever wants, and egg temper, and mixing both. Am I being too chatty? Nikki, am I talking too much about painting? Okay, with coffee. I'm gonna do just something very simple for someone who wants to do something with coffee or what it calls. Yeah, composition. So with the glass, we can play with the see-through things and the metal with what we think. Uh, they are grays, but we're gonna see them not. So, I'm leaving the white uh, canvas at the moment because I don't have a glue that I'm gonna do. I haven't prepared it, but we start measuring with the pen. Where things are, this pan. Oops. This is like much smaller. The glass goes here. I don't know. Uh, measuring is an important thing. So I'm gonna do this. And I don't want to use too much coffee because it's water-based. And uh, until it dries, it's not very good for the, uh, for the paint to mix it with oil. I mean, it's crazy, you shouldn't do it, but uh, and we're doing it. It's like in a technical level, this is not orthodox, but we don't have to be orthodox. So right now we are painting the idea of, is everything clear? Anyone have a question? Uh, if you are painting some images, if you are 
using a, a, a I don't know, your, your, your own still life at home or something, you want to send it to me in a message, I can have a look, maybe give an opinion. That would be nice. I'm ready to, to interact with people, if possible. So, uh, I'm going to use the white and just one tone of coffee. And I'm going to try to do like a middle tone for everything. So, we are going to be reflections. I'm going to put more coffee. And there's no coffee, it's some black pigment. Yeah. Just a bit. The aim of these workshops is not that I do a super painting, uh, not at all, it's just Paintings, paintings that I don't know. I, whenever I finish a, finish a workshop, I uh, I can paint on top of the painting. I can keep on working. I can use it for another one. So this is not a showing of look at the painting. We're gonna do you or me. This is playful training, uh, spending some time focusing. It's, it's an automatic meditation. You don't really are aware of how good it's being for you. This focusing, like meeting. I like this composition with the band coming out. So I got that. It's always good to have clothes around. This is like a bed sheet I found. I think it would be very, very cool to do a painting on top. Maybe I will prim prime it with a PVA, which is acrylic, and it's good for priming. You have to find one with a neutral pH, uh, so it doesn't yellow with time, but Right now we don't mind, but they yellow. Uh, so you can use any PVA, but not a spanning one. PVA like old fashioned, normal. I will teach how to do that. Uh, so I'm cleaning the excess of water. And once I have done this, I want to create like a something for later that I'm going to use. As I am painting, I'm, I'm changing my mind. You have to be, when painting, easy with yourself. Don't be too stubborn. If something doesn't work, get over it. No, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. If that, something doesn't work, uh, move it. It's okay. Don't sacrifice a painting because some mark is nice. Or... So I move the glass. The glass is going to be on top of this. And it's going to be nice see-through things. Uh, this pan is going to go over this. So we're creating space. Now. Mm, there's more. This is going to be nice. Uh, think that you're seeing the objects from far and watching them for, from the top. And you hardly see these. But you see the other. In any case, uh, also, a good idea is I'm here and I'm around. If someone wants to paint people, models, life models that right now is not possible to get, uh, try to kind of paint me. 
It's like, I'm here, I'm moving, I'm talking about painting, and I can be a model. Right now, you could be painting. Now and again, I always stay the same position. When I paint live in night venues, I always kind of count on that, on people going back to where they were and doing the same mannerisms again and again. So that's another thing, like super fast painting from memory. Uh, you have the opportunity to do it with me. Um, is anyone painting today here? Please, I would like to know. Okay, so coffee out. It's good to don't throw away the containers of food. Are they nice? Very expensive. Uh, okay, I'm gonna work again now with oil. Could be acrylics, could be anything. And now is when I'm gonna do the kind of overall canvas uh, filling. But once we're working with mostly like a grain, a gray, sorry, gray palette. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the whites whites and the coffee I'm gonna leave it there. I think I said the other day, uh, Velázquez, the Spanish painter, uh, Baroque, I really like it. This is kind of one of the guys I have really studied. He used to do some kind of opera color at some point in his life as a background. Um, it's nice. It's very useful for later. I'm taking the color, the thing, cloth. So with the cloth, uh, we are painting already. I mean, you can call it however you want. It could be drawing because you see the marks. But I'm not that much of a drawer with uh, with charcoal and things. I like to. I want everything that happens on the painting to be kind of part of it. To kind of add up, add up. So, like, even you are doing a background, but you can start defining things. You have to always be thinking of what you are doing. Uh, we are drawing with a cloth, the background, we are placing things that can move. I think I said on another video, really like the first year painting uh, is to do a painting a day, throw it away. It's a good way of breaking the, uh, yeah, I mean, to, to get used to, to your things, to your way of working, to don't have the pressure of having to deliver something super beautiful. Uh, we are learning, we are learning. But this is looking good. This is really looking good. I like it. Yeah. Uh, ah, what is the black pigment? Uh, Peter, yeah, it's coffee, it's coffee. Uh, I just saw the, like I did the other day, like when I did this session of uh, painting uh, glass and bottles, 
that I know that many people hasn't been able, been able to order the colors online or something. So painting with coffee, everyone has got coffee. Um, so I do a very simple thing and then now I'm into acrylic, into, uh, sorry, oils. But you can do it with anything, it just samples. Oops. I don't know, I know it was okay. Uh, okay, so right now we have placed, uh, I mean, we have used two washes to see through things. Uh, yeah, one the kind of gray area, and one the background. Um, now we can start, as I said, always like take three, three shades of a color or, or three kind of mm, colors that kind of resume uh, what you have got in front. So I'm going to use a bit of uh, in Aquilon red, a bit of um, ultramarine blue, and quite watery. I'm going to see how this, I want it more watery. So we always keep on changing things. We're starting to place objects. I'm painting this handle that is behind the glass and then it's gonna be distorted. But right now I'm trying to make sense. So I have to come like here. And I'm going to use this very same color, even though this is bluer in reality. I will change it later, but I think this is a good color for the for the pan. Yeah, I'm going to leave a light here. I'm going to leave a light there. So we're taking the painting at the same level. Yeah. Sorry? It's very, very many years ago. Uh, I think, uh, ah, what is that black pigment? It's, I think it's ivory black, but I'm not sure. Because I used to buy many different I have got the underneath ivory black and then it says vines, which I don't know what it is, I don't remember. No, vine. Yeah, I don't know, it's, oops. No, it's darker than ivory, I don't know. Uh, it's a normal pigment that you can buy online, or, yeah. Uh, and we will use them later on for making oil color, for making egg temper. I don't have my mess. Thank you again. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, again, it's like the other day is going very kind of watercolor real, but we will change that. We will... Or not, the other day I, I kind of regret a bit that I kept on working and then it took me a couple of days to bring it back. I'll show you later the, the painting glasses I'm putting on the back. Uh, okay, so we are trying to take the whole painting at the same level all the time, always finished. So right now we need the handles and we need the glass. And I'm gonna be kind of very simplistic at the moment. And to don't complicate things, I'm gonna paint the grays, grays, which is not true. Grays are not grays. Grays have got many colors, and we will see that. But right now, for the as to strong for this stage, we're gonna use this. Grace uh, and this shiny object, this kitchen ware or whatever, it is quite good because uh, we can work a lot on reflections and how color reflects on other things. So a gray next to a... Uh, yeah, it's reflected. It's like a mirror. So if we put something colorful. Let's see. Let's put something... Opinions on the strawberries or no? What do you think about the strawberries, Nikki? Can you see that? No. Yeah, why not? We can get rid of them later. Ah, it's too much. There's no need to complicate right now things. Okay, I'm gonna... I was trying to measure things where they are. Now for, I'm going to use some more of this uh, ultramarine blue to the shade from inside. Nice All these little lines, uh, we, we will sacrifice them later. We don't want details until the very end. But I'm using them as marking points. Water. I'm gonna use it directly.
Okay, let's see how it looks. Still, is, there is no, no level. I think we need some kind of. It's going somewhere. Any more questions? Well, how long? Oh, we have been 37 minutes. So, if you're painting kind of uh, pot and glasses, uh, Always good to kind of, I mean, whenever you're painting, wherever you're painting. Always good to stand back, have a look. Think about what you're gonna do. I'm painting very fast, but doesn't need to. But it's quite nice. Yeah. So very small details, like uh, it's gonna be much lighter and nice. A small details for the very, 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 very end. I mean, you shouldn't really do small details for the for the year. Huh. More. That is okay. If you do. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna bring another shade to the canvas with the cloth again and I'm gonna bring an orange any questions please uh, later on if send whatever you have wrong it would be nice to see to share it um, yeah So I'm mixing here, one color. The cloth thing. Try to see where all the darkness. And get the brush. Uh, you don't have to worry about making the colors as they are. It's more, I don't know, I find it more interesting to kind of maybe keep the balance of what you see in between tones. That color just, I don't know, reality is there and it's nice to change it. is good even if you do it much bigger than the reality but when you're doing shades or lights or anything just use a brush a bit bigger than needed so you create uh, this kind of in between colors oh fuck i'm gonna wash my hands uh, that's the black pigment uh, yeah the in between colors uh, that they are very real no it's like in nature, they're not really kind of proper lines. Everything is vibrating with one another. This shadow is going to give us here the feeling, the sensation of space.
And remember, there is no need to be. I'm getting frustrated. So there is no need to get uh, frustration here. Um, we have time to kind of do a practice, an exercise. So we don't be too hard on ourselves while learning. When you want to really do a painting, yeah, you have to be. You have to be in control. Whatever that means. Doing good. So the grace in this pan, I mean, it's, it's, it's almost like a mirror, and it's giving us here quite a lot of the orange that we see. It's reflecting. Here, that is a shame because it's going to change soon when it becomes darker but from the window. Come some highlights. So a uh, drawing can be done with, uh, yeah, with anything, with, you don't have to kind of, yeah, I'm drawing right now with white, sometimes it's another color, so we have to kind of forget that association of drawing that with black or whatever. Okay, that's looking good. Uh, You know, we don't have to worry very much about this being weird. It's just about that we don't need it now. But that's the nice, the good and the bad thing about painting life. That uh, we're constantly judging ourselves and trying to do something kind of decent. So this is not okay. But uh, this stage on a painting, just starting, it doesn't really need to look like anything. I'm just trying to keep the whole thing going together. When we put a very light color with a very dark color, like this white and this black kind of thing, uh, that helps a lot to bring things forward to the foreground. You see, it's like, if I highlight here, to the dark, and here, We can even, yeah, there are more middle tones.
So with correcting slowly, slowly, whatever you are doing, uh, whenever you see something that is a bit like, oh, you go for it and, yeah, and keep on going. Uh, always kind of taking attention, paying attention to everything at the same time. Uh, what is the black, blah, blah, blah. Anda, deberías estar pintando ya, pero <risa> sí, sí, echa un rato. Además, no tienes por qué enseñárselo a nadie. Me ha lavado las manos, que estoy. Leave you a minute uh, to work on your painting, look on your painting, look at the smile, look at that, and then we're gonna do. I oh know we have done 50 minutes. Okay, give me three minutes, I am back, and we're gonna try to leave it in an hour. This thing, um, well, I don't know if you want more, just let me know and I'll keep on going.
Thank you. Do we want a bicycle, Mickey? Yeah. Because uh, some guys said we don't have any more. <coughs> uh, one of the Slovenians. Uh, nothing, but they are living. Okay, yeah, yeah, and show us later. Okay. Uh, I, I'm still on the video. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. It's not finished, it's sketch. We're working. I'll keep on working on it. Uh, if you're painting as well, this, yeah, this session, as I said, is not to kind of do something weird. To, to, to yeah, bring an introduction to paint and to be for a bit together. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I hope you are very well. Um, yeah, speak to you soon. Okay, thank you.